Hello, my name is Jake Wallace, and I am the newly arrived American ambassador in Tunis. Assalamu alaikum, ismi Jake Wallace, and asafir al amriki al jadid de Tunis. Bonjour, je m'appelle Jake Wallace, je suis le nouvel ambassadeur américain à Tunis. On behalf of the government and the people of the United States, I would like to express my sincere best wishes to the Tunisian people on the occasion of the holy month of Ramadan. Ramadan is a time of personal sacrifice and an occasion for deep reflection. Here in Tunisia, it is also an opportunity to reflect upon the significance of what has transpired in this country in the past year and a half. From the January 2011 revolution, to the October elections, to the ongoing deliberations about a new constitution that will guarantee the rights and freedoms of all Tunisians. The United States supports the Tunisian people in this process of democratic transition, and I want to express my personal commitment and that of all members of the American mission to continuing the support. I arrived in Tunis just a few days ago to take up my position as the United States ambassador to Tunisia. It is a great personal honor for me to hold this position and to be here in Tunisia at this most important moment in your country's long history. I'm also pleased to arrive just as Ramadan is beginning in order to share this time with you. The United States and Tunisia share a relationship that dates back more than 200 years when our first agreement of friendship and trade was concluded and an American consulate was established. Ramadan is also featured in the historic relationship between our two countries. In 1805, President Thomas Jefferson, our third president, invited Tunisia's first diplomatic envoy to the United States, Sidi Suleiman Meli Meli, to dine at the White House. But because it was then Ramadan, Jefferson changed his mealtime from the usual hour of 3.30 in the afternoon to precisely at sunset, in deference to the envoy's obligation to keep the fast, making this the first known iftar to be held at the White House. President Jefferson also had a detailed knowledge of Islam which was remarkable for an American at that time. Forty years before that dinner, Jefferson purchased a two-volume English translation of the Quran for his personal library. Americans now are more familiar with Islam, and today America has a large Muslim population spread across its vast area, with roots stretching to all parts of the Islamic world. Muslims in America practice their faith securely they interact with Americans of other faiths freely, and they participate fully in the life of our country. These days, American presidents, secretaries of state, community leaders, and U.S. ambassadors regularly offer greetings and host iftars on the occasion of Ramadan. As I get to know Tunisians in my first days as ambassador, I too look forward to hosting them for iftar at my home. I want to wish you all a blessed Ramadan. This holy month of Ramadan is a time to renew one's faith, and it is a reminder of our responsibilities towards all of those around us. In the months ahead, I look forward to traveling around Tunisia to broaden and deepen contacts with all parts of Tunisian society. All of us at the American Embassy will remain engaged with Tunisians to promote dialogue and mutual respect and to support Tunisia's ongoing transition to democracy. I wish you all a Ramadan Kareem.